What's up, family? Man, I'm out here in the rain making this video. It's how important this video is. You know what I mean? I'm out here in the rain to make this video. Family, when I worked in the prison system, there was a saying that we had, if it don't apply, let it fly. If it don't apply, let it fly. If it don't pertain to you, let it go. It ain't for you, you know what I mean? Um, it's like when you were in school and the teacher's mad and complaining because everybody didn't do their homework But you know that you turned in your homework So you could sit back and listen to what the teacher had to say because you know it didn't pertain to you It wasn't personal. It wasn't about you. You did what you were supposed to do So you could listen to their rant. You could listen to them complain and whoop de whoop de whoop And not personalize it because it wasn't about you Same thing holds true for this video Okay if you have sensitive ears, or you highly spiritual, or profanity offends you, and any of that other stuff, man, you might have want to shut this one off right here. You might want to pass on this one. You know what I mean? Because I'm going in today. I'm about to go in. Okay? And the thing about speaking, you have to know your audience. And that's one of the things I love about YouTube. YouTube has the analytics where they break down who your videos are. Your, the age groups, your um, YouTube breaks down the analytics as far as the genders, who's watching your videos, you know, what countries are watching your videos, what times you're watching your videos. They got all that stuff broken down so you can see that if you want to. And so with that being said, I understand the age gaps that are watching my videos. And so when I talk about what I'm about to talk about today, please understand that there's two different age groups that I'm talking about. The first part, I'm going in, we're talking to these young kids, to these young adults, okay? And then the next group that we're going to be talking about, we're going to be talking about you parents of these young adults, okay? So make sure that you understand. And again, this is a general conversation. If it don't apply to you, let it fly, okay? It ain't meant for you. It's great information, but it just don't pertain to your life. It may not resonate with your life right now okay family we and i share this and i say this all the time we have to grow up and some of you don't have to grow up you have to grow the fuck up i'm gonna say it again some of you need to grow the fuck up the breeze is picking up it's like mother nature god is like yeah i agree with you they need to grow the fuck up. You know what I mean? Y'all need to grow the fuck up. Making sure that my thing don't fall down, my tripod. Thank you for that breeze. Family, we have to grow up. We have to grow up. And, and it's crazy because this generation, and, and I, I make these videos because, man, I'm so scared that this generation don't get it. This generation is so intellectually smart, but so fucking feeble and weak minded when it comes to emotions and spirituality. You so sensitive, you don't know shit. You so sensitive, you know every fucking thing, but you don't know a goddamn thing. I, I talk to so many young people complaining about their parents. And parents put them through this and whoop 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 and all this other stuff. And I understand some of you, a few of you, have gone through some very traumatic things. I get that. Been there, done that. I get that. But the great majority of you little ungrateful sons of bitches, man, y'all don't fucking get it. Y'all don't fucking get it. You think everybody owe you some shit. Don't nobody owe you a goddamn thing. The fact that you walk in this fucking planet with air to breathe, that's all you fucking deserve. If you want something in life, get up off your ass and go fucking get it. If you ain't willing to put in the work to go get it, shut the fuck up and stop crying and whining about what ain't been given to you. Oh, we ain't even got started yet. I'm going in. I'm going in today. I hear so many young people who ain't really went through shit sitting there crying and whining about what their parents did. And, and these young people in their 20s, in their 30s, whining and crying about what their parents did and they still dealing with that trauma and whoop-de-whoop-de-whoop. -whoop -whoop. 
family. At the age of 25, I was raising two kids of my own. Two kids of my own. Stay with me, I'm going somewhere. At 25, I was a single parent. No fucking help from their mom. None. She wasn't calling their asses. She wasn't writing them. She wasn't sending no money. One paying child. One doing nothing. Not not a goddamn thing for these two kids that she brought into the world. At the age of 25, I hadn't even dealt with my fucking shit yet. At the age of 25, I was just starting to try to deal with my shit. I was just starting to deal with my shit of seeing my mom murdered right in front of me at the age of two. I was just starting to try to deal with my shit of being sexually molested at the age of six on two different occasions by Christian people. But I had to put all that shit on hold because I'm raising two kids now. I can't deal with my shit. I can't deal with my shit because I got to stay strong. I got to stay level because I got to take care of my kids. And I ain't got no fucking help. No family helping me whatsoever in any way, shape, or form. These kids are all that I got. These, say, let me correct that. I'm all that these two kids had. They had no grandma. She was gone. They had no grandpa. They had no family that would take care of them. I was all that they had. So it wasn't an option of me going to work every fucking day. It wasn't an option of me putting food on the table for them and cooking for them and making sure they had clean clothes and making sure they got their homework done and going to school. It wasn't an option. It was what I was supposed to do. It was what I had to do. So I couldn't deal with my shit because I was trying to make sure that they shit was straight. And why am I saying that? Because some of you little ungrateful winches and heifers don't know what the hell your parents went through. Don't know the hell that your parents was enduring, had endured. And this ain't to minimize, you know, your quote unquote pain and suffering. Your pain and suffering for the great majority of you, it's all fucking emotional. It's all fucking trivial. It ain't shit. It's you been a fucking victim. With a fucking victim mentality. You ain't went through shit. You fucking spoiled and ungrateful. Oh, we going in today. Y'all need to grow the fuck up. Y'all need to grow the fuck up. And if you don't like it, turn the video off. I don't give a damn. But we're going to keep it real on this channel. I ain't sugarcoating shit. I ain't walking on eggshells. I ain't tiptoeing around you motherfuckers. Fuck that shit. I'm a grown ass 51 year old man. I speak my fucking peace. And I'm saying what I got to say today. If you don't want to hear what I got to say, get the fuck off the channel. It is what it is. Simple as that. But I'm going to say what I got to say. And I don't give a damn whether you like it or not. You need to grow the fuck up. You 29 years old, 30 years old. You ain't got no kids. You ain't went through the shit that your parents went through. And you want to sit there and judge them. You want to sit there and put them down talking about all the shit that they didn't do for you. Motherfucker, they brought your ass into this fucking world. That's all they had to do for you. They provided for you. That's all they had to fucking do. You bitching and moaning about, man, my life was traumatic and I had to deal with this. and I, You ain't went through shit compared to what your parents went through. And they didn't have no fucking help. They didn't have no fucking help. We didn't have fucking YouTube back then. We didn't have social media back then. What the fuck you crying about? You ain't near as bad, as tough, as smart, as strong as your parent is. As your parent was. Your parent 
brought your ass into the world and was doing for you, providing for you. And they hadn't even dealt with their shit yet. And you mad and complaining because everything wasn't fucking perfect. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you to come into this fucking world and demand that shit be perfect for your ass? For you? What the fuck are you giving the world? What the fuck have you done for this world? What the fuck have you done for humanity? But you want to sit on your ass and twiddle your fucking toes and thumbs and demand that shit be perfect for you? Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Oh, I'm going in today. If you don't like the way your parents brought your ass up, okay, it is what it is. Get your own family, raise your own fucking family, and understand, karma's a bitch. Karma's a bitch. You reap what you fucking sow. All that shit that you spewing about your parents right now, all that shit's coming back on your ass. All that ungrateful shit that you spewing right now, all that shit's coming back on your ass. You could talk all that toxic, stupid shit you want to. You ain't went through shit compared to what your parents went through. And for those of you that went through a whole lot of shit, through the molestations and the beatings and all that trauma shit, man, if your parents don't want to own that shit, man, okay, it is what it is. Grow the fuck up. Cut their asses off. Move on. Move on. You don't need them in your life anymore. You grown. You self-sufficient. Well, you say you are. If you so self-sufficient, why are you still dependent on them emotionally? We have to grow up. Understand, everybody ain't gonna apologize to you. Everybody ain't gonna own up to their shit. So do that mean that you stop growing? Do that mean that you stop reaching your full potential because somebody don't want to apologize to you? Because somebody don't want to own up to their shit? So that's going to make you stop growing? Are you serious? You're going to stay in your little funk. You're going to stay pouting and whining like a little crybaby because somebody won't apologize to you? Won't own up to their shit? You so fucking smart, but you so goddamn stupid. That's fucking stupid. You're going to stunt your own growth because somebody won't apologize. Parents. If you're a parent of some quote, quote unquote age-wise grown-ass kids because they ain't grown emotionally they ain't grown spiritually they just grown in age and they spitting that bullshit they want to be the fucking victim Man, cut them little bastards off cut them ungrateful sons of bitches off move on with your life you did what you were supposed to do you did the best you could do stop apologizing to them for their stupid shit stop apologizing to them for shit that you did you did the best that you fucking could do. That's all anybody can ask of anyone. Is do the best that they could do. If that's all that you could do, then that's all you could do. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop feeling sorry for their asses. Fuck them kids. I said it. Fuck them kids. Stop making them, stop allowing them little ungrateful sons of bitches to make you feel bad, feel bad about your life. Because you couldn't provide them everything that they fucking wanted. You gave them everything they needed, but that wasn't enough for their asses. They want more. They expected more. Man, fuck them. Fuck them. Cut their asses off. Cut their asses off. And understand, you have to get them off the fucking nipple. They supposed to be grown now. They supposed to be self-sufficient now. Disconnect the fucking umbilical cord. If they fucking grown and they bringing toxic shit into your life, they bringing that drama into your life, man, cut their ass off. You don't owe them shit no more. Set up healthy fucking boundaries. 
Stop allowing your kids to fucking emotionally abuse you. Fuck them. They're going to have to figure this shit out on their fucking own. Stop being a doormat to your damn kids. Man, my kids can't come to me with that woe is me and whoop de Man, I'm not hearing that bullshit. Fuck you. Fuck you. I, 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 uh, man, from the time my kids were little, man, I had a saying. Say the drama for your mama because your pappy ain't playing that. Say, say the drama for your mama because your pappy ain't playing that. I'm not dealing with no bullshit. I'm not. You can say I'm an asshole. You can say I'm a bastard. You can say whatever the hell you want to say about me. I don't give a damn. I don't give two dams about it. Two fucks about it. My life goes on. I'm going to do what I came here to do. The breeze picked up as soon as I said that. <laughs> My life goes on, family. Your life has to go on. You did the best that you could do. Let it go. Let they asses go. Let them figure this shit out on their fucking own. They got everything figured out, but they worse off than you was when you was that age. How the fuck does that happen? You went through all the parents. I'm talking to parents now. We went through all the shit that we went through. All the bullshit that we went through. Started having kids. And our kids. These ungrateful sons of bitches walking this planet with this entitlement mentality. Thinking they owe some shit. Because they were brought into this fucking world. They are worse off than we were at that age. They have less to show for their life than we did at that age. With all the devastating trauma and drama that we endured. Stop feeling sorry for yourselves. Stop wishing you could have did more. Stop beating yourself up over the choices you made 20 years ago, 30 years ago. You have to let that shit go. You have to grow up, family. I'm talking to your parents. You got to grow up. You got to let their asses go. Let their asses go. Let them figure it out on their own. Yeah, it's going to hurt called tough love tough love let them figure this shit out on their own because the one thing about it life has a way of humbling you life has a way of knocking you on your motherfucking ass and making you come to grips with some shit and making you realize well damn I was fucking wrong damn I said all this shit and I was out of pocket. I was out of line for all the shit that I did. Life has a way of getting us to that point. And you have to accept the fact that your kids that you brought into this world, they're gonna have to go through that. It's part of their growth and development. It's part of their journey. It is their journey. It is their journey. And the truth be told, parents, the great majority of us, we fucked this generation up. We fucked this generation up because we wanted to give them more than what we had. We grew up in poor circumstances. We grew up in dire situations. We grew up in lack real lack these motherfuckers don't know shit about lack there's times as a kid the only thing we had was biscuits and syrup these motherfuckers got iPhone 12s iPhone 13s whatever the fuck they got ain't paid for shit running around $200 shoes on bags purses hair Nails, they got all this shit. They ain't paying for shit. But they want to talk about what they ain't got. 
and how bad life is for them. You little ungrateful motherfuckers need to go to another country. So one thing about being in the military, I, got, I was able to travel to different countries. You need to go to some of these other little countries out here and see how bad people really got it. See how hard people really have it. It'll give you a great appreciation for your life. We have to grow the hell up. My hope and prayer. Young people. You stop being so fucking hard on your parents. You don't know the shit that they went through. And the truth be told, you couldn't walk in their fucking footsteps. So how can you sit there and judge them and put them down and condemn them for not being a fucking better parent? With all the shit that they had, all the shit that they endured, you can't handle the little shit that you got. How the fuck you gonna handle they shit? Which was way worse. You suicidal and depressed over the little shit you gotta deal with. How the fuck was you gonna survive in my fucking generation? Going through the shit we went through. This is what scares me about this generation coming up. They're physically strong. They say they're intellectual. And some of them are very intellectual. But they're spiritually and emotionally fucking zombies. They're weak as hell. Any little pressure they're fucking folding. Any little pressure they're gonna fucking crack. And I tell my kids all the time, and I've always told my kids, that my ancestors didn't go through all the fucking hell that they went through. I'm part Native American, and my ancestors didn't go through all the fucking hell we went through. We didn't endure slavery and all the shit that we went through. They didn't endure all that shit. My Native American ancestors, they didn't endure the fucking trail of tears and all the other shit that they went through. For me to come into this fucking world and start fucking whining and crying about the shit I got to go through. See, we don't know our fucking history. And because we don't fucking know our history, we think shit is supposed to be great for us. Shit ain't never been fucking great for you. Grow the fuck up. Our ancestors didn't go through all the hell that they went through. For you to come into this world, not having to go through any of that shit, and to be whining and complaining about how tough life is for you now. This ain't fucking shit. You do your ancestors a disservice. Sitting there whining and crying about how tip, how difficult life is right now. You do your ancestors a disservice. You are a disgrace to your ancestors. You are an embarrassment to your ancestors. Because of all the hell that they endured so that you wouldn't have to. And this is what you're going to do? This is what you're going to do with life? Is sit here and whine and complain? I remember going freaking hungry. Hungry so that my kids could eat. In 1996, it was the worst year of my life. I went from 240 pounds of muscle, solid muscle, to less than 150 pounds in less than a summer. 
because I wasn't eating. I looked like a crackhead. I looked like I was tweaking. Single parent, struggling, struggling. I wouldn't eat because what I would eat, I would say that for my kids so that they could have that the next day. Struggling, washing clothes in a fucking bathtub, hanging them in the house with the fans on and shit like that just so that they could air dry because I couldn't afford to go to the damn laundromat. Struggling, struggling. My hope and prayer is that we wake up. We wake up and that we grow up. If you're a young adult and you've been judging and putting your parents down, man, fix that shit. Fix that family. You only get one mom. You only get one dad. And if they ain't trying to hear it, okay, let them go. You, you know what I mean? But do everything that you can to make the shit right. If you're the one being hard-headed and rebellious and just whatever, judging them and all that, man, fix that shit. Fix that shit. When I was in California, I would take all these little kids to my mom's grave site. And I would show them all my mom's grave. And I would show them her age. She was just 20 years old. 20 years old. And was gone. And I showed that to them for a couple of reasons. I want them to see that you only get one mom. And when she's gone, she's gone. Never again will you see her smile. Never again will you hear her laugh. Never again will she give you a hug. Never again will you hear her voice. She's gone. Same thing with your father. When they're gone, they're gone. And there's nothing worse than carrying the trauma and the drama around with you of regret. Of knowing that you coulda, shoulda fixed some shit, but you wouldn't and you didn't. And now they're gone and you won't get that opportunity. Do I miss my mom? I'm 51 years old. My mom's been gone 49 years. 49. And I miss her. It don't hurt like it used to hurt. But I miss her. I wonder what my life would have been like if I had somebody supporting me. I wonder what my life would have been like if I had somebody encouraging me. I wonder what my life would have been like if I had somebody that believed in me. I wonder what my life would have been like if I had somebody that showed me that I, that I mattered, that they loved me, and that I could do anything that I wanted to in life. I wonder how far I could have gone. I wonder how much I could have accomplished. I wonder if I would be at this level right here or would I be so much further along? I wonder. I'll never know. I'm grateful for my journey. I'm grateful for the pain, the suffering. It's got me to where I'm at. But the fact of the matter, I wonder where I would be if I had a father figure, a positive father figure in my life that gave me a positive self-identity 
I wonder where I would be if I had a strong, nurturing mother figure in my life that showed me that I mattered, that showed me that I, I was loved. I love you guys. Happy healing. Peace.